Today, let us take time to study God's words together. When we look at the records written in the Old Testament times, we can see the Israelites making a lot of efforts to bring forth their descendants. The mindset of God's people who make every effort to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit granted by God in the New Testament times can be understood through the mindset of the women who made efforts to bear children in the Old Testament times. Bearing many children was considered a great blessing in the Old Testament times. However, don't we consider bearing many fruits as a great blessing in the New Testament times? In the history of the Old Testament, there were women who received abundant blessings from God, but there were also women who did not. Through these records, let us examine why we do not bear fruits and how we can bear fruit in this age. Let us understand these matters through the history in the Old Testament, which is a shadow. Let us turn to 2 Samuel chapter 6. Chapter 6, verse 13 says, When those who were carrying the ark of the Lord had taken six steps, he sacrificed a bull and a fattened calf. David, wearing a linen ephod, danced before the Lord with all his might, while he and the entire house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouts and the sound of trumpets. This is the scene where the ark of God's covenant, which remained in the house of Obed-Edom, was finally carried to the city of David. David was overjoyed with the thought about the ark being carried to the city of David. When David put down his authority as a king before his own people, leaping and dancing humbly before the Lord, David's wife, Michal, despised him in her heart. Let us continue with verse 16. It says, As the ark of the Lord was entering the city of David, Michal, daughter of Saul, watched from a window. And when she saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, she despised him in her heart. Since she despised God's prophet thinking, how can the king behave so foolishly? She was cursed with not being able to bear any children to the day of her death. Let us continue with verse 17. It says, they brought the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And David sacrificed burnt offerings and fellowship offerings before the Lord. After he had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord Almighty. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins to each person in the whole crowd of Israelites, both men and women. And all the people went to their homes. When David returned home to bless his household, Michal, daughter of Saul, came out to meet him and said, How the king of Israel has distinguished himself today, disrobing in the sight of the slave girls of his servants as any vulgar fellow would. David said to Michal, It was before the Lord. In this way, David had a mindset to put himself in the lowest position before the Lord if he had to. It was before the Lord who chose me rather than your father or anyone from his house when he appointed me ruler over the Lord's people Israel. I will celebrate before the Lord. I will become even more undignified than this and I will be humiliated in my own eyes. But by these slave girls you spoke of, I will be held in honor. And Michal, daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. In other words, Michal was definitely not blessed. Why are there so many records in the Bible about women bearing or not bearing children? In the Old Testament times, People believed that having many offspring indicates they received many blessings from God. However, in the New Testament times, we believe that having many fruits of the Holy Spirit from heaven indicates we have received many blessings from God. When we examine the words of God through the example of Michal, 
who could not bear any child to the day of her death, we come to think that receiving God's blessing is essential for the people of God, whether it be in the Old Testament times or in the New Testament times. I hope that we can all bear many fruits so that we can give great glory to God. Thank you very much. God bless you.